The key way we can use After Effects for non-video related projects is to export a composition directly to the Photoshop format, complete with layers and full transparency support. Photoshop is one of the most widely used graphic applications, and its native PSD format is compatible with a wide range of other applications, from other Creative Cloud applications by Adobe to all kinds of other applications available for both desktop computers and mobile devices. And in addition to PSD files, After Effects can render directly to JPEG and full 8-bit transparent ping files as well. Now, these aren't the only formats that After Effects can export to, but these are the ones that you'll most likely use in your design projects. So let's take a quick look at how we can export a composition for each of these file types. So now back in After Effects, I have a sample composition opened. You don't need to follow along with me here, and this is one of the examples that we'll be covering later in the course. So what I want to do here is make sure that I have the composition panel selected so we can see the blue outline. I'm going to select the artwork on the stage. Down here, you'll see in the timeline panel, I've selected this, coffeebeans.jpg. And over here in the effect controls, I'm going to come in here and activate the key light plugin. What this is actually doing is cutting out all the green background so we'll get a nice transparent layer inside of Photoshop. So with the composition layer selected, let's come down and make sure that the composition panel is set to full resolution. And this is important because if this is set to any other setting, like half or one third, that's the resolution of the final Photoshop file that we'll get. So make sure this is set to full. Come up to the composition menu come down to Save Frame As, and then we'll choose Photoshop Layers. From the Save dialog box, I'll choose the desktop, and then hit Save. Then if I reveal my desktop, I'll see the Coffee Beans PSD, which I got directly from After Effects. Let's double click this to open it in Photoshop. And then once this is open in Photoshop, you'll see that I have a single layer, and I can see the checkerboard in the background, letting me know that the file is transparent. So just to test this, I'll come in here and make a new layer, Command-Shift-N, or Control-Shift-N in Windows. I'll press Return. I'll just create a color here, maybe a medium brown. Fill that color, put the layer behind the background, and we can see that color is now showing up all around the coffee beans. So again, I got this beautifully transparent Photoshop file directly from an effect applied to a JPEG file inside of After Effects. Now to take a look at exporting this out as a ping file instead of Photoshop, let's go back to After Effects. I still have my composition panel selected. I'm still in full screen resolution. Let's come up to the composition menu. Let's come down to Save Frame As, and this time we'll choose File. Now this is going to open another panel inside of After Effects called the Render Queue. Now this panel will typically open next to your other compositions down in the Timeline panel. So under Render Queue, let's come down here to the Render Settings, and we can see the Coffee Beans item is now in the queue. Let's change current settings to best settings. For the output module, let's come in here and change this from a Photoshop file down to custom. Then in this dialog box here, the output module settings, let's come down and choose ping sequence. Let's choose OK. And from this output frame dialog box, let's choose the desktop, and then I'll simply click Save. And then finally, let's come over here and click on Render. And now if I reveal my desktop, I can see the new ping file showing up. And if I double click this to open it in Photoshop, I'll get something similar to what I had before, where we can see the checkered background indicating that this is a transparent file. And I can use this transparent ping file in any application that supports pings. So I'll close this, go back to After Effects, and let's take a look at rendering out a single JPEG file. So to do that, I'm going to come down here to the Timeline panel. I'm going to open up my Steel Globe composition. So this is a composition that has multiple layers from a Photoshop file. So let's come up here, make sure the composition layer is selected. Let's go to Composition, choose Save Frame As, choose File. Now in the Render Queue, all of my jobs will continue to display. So I can select the first item and simply hit Delete. Next, let's come down here and choose Best Settings for Render Settings. For the Output Module, let's choose Custom. Let's change this to a JPEG sequence. Let's choose OK. For the output, I'll click the file name. We'll choose the desktop. We'll hit Save, and then I'll choose Render. And just like before, if I reveal the desktop, I'll now see my new JPEG file showing up on the desktop. Now, for the majority of my projects, I use the Photoshop format. It's faster, and the format is widely supported. But if you do need to create a JPEG or a ping, or any of the other multiple file formats that After Effects can generate, you can use the render queue. 
So if you've been watching these introductory videos, then you're ready to dive in and start making some graphics for your design projects. So to continue, let's go to the next chapter and get started.